Hey everybody, this episode is going to be really cool because we're going to use another hook in this episode which is called use params and this is used to pass parameters through the URL. So we will learn how to parameterize our URLs and make our component more dynamic. A bunch of jargon words to mean that I want to throw cucumber in here and get a definition for it. And right now it's just giving me this gray screen which is lame. So what do we need to do? Well, anytime we're going to be working with URLs, we go to the routing section of our code. And we're going to define a route very similar to this one. We're just going to change a little bit, and that is going to go right here. So we want to be able to put a slash here and then some word to search for in the dictionary. And I'm going to call this search. So you prefix it with a colon, and then whatever you want to call that data. And we will be able to get that data inside of our component. Now I was gonna call this word, but I decided to call it search instead, and you'll see why here in a second. Let's head over to the component definition, and you can see we already have this word variable here, so I want to use a different word besides the word word. I was confusing. You guys know what I'm saying. So what we will do is we will say import use params, and this one's going to come from react router dom, and we can get the data with destructuring, so it's going to give an object to this component, and we can destructure that with curly braces, so we can grab a property on that called search, and then we'll say use params. So if we just wanted to see, we could say console.log use params, and let's take a look at our site. It will have an object with just one property search. And you can see it has the value cucumber, which comes from right there. If we change this, man, thinking of words is like the hardest part of this series, paint. It'll change that value. So we're going to just assign it to this variable called search. And that's why I didn't name it word, because we already had word being used. And now we can append the value right here. So we will remove helicopter and replace this with search. Let's save, test this out. So we could type in paint. Oh, it's already working. A substance that is applied as a liquid or paste and dries into a solid coating that protects or adds color slash color to an object or surface to which it has been applied or to apply paint to. I don't get why you guys from not the US use a U for color. Now we can actually search. So let's see what happens when we say color. The spectral composition of visible light. I wonder if it's exactly the same if we change it to color. Yep, but as we can see, the definition uses C-O-L-O-R. So it's just matter of fact that this is the correct spelling. As a side note, you can use the network tab and you can see where that request was being made and a response here. So if you're having issues, you can always check the network tab and make sure your request is going through correctly. And this is totally unrelated, but one thing, I just want to increase this padding just a little bit, just because I feel it's a little crunched. This is really just for those of you who have been following along exactly. So we will head over to the header and find where we have our section. And padding X, we're going to increase that. Let's see what 4 looks like. Ah, that's a little too much. Gosh, I should have known. Dang it. All right, 3, that looks great. And at this point, I think we're safe to remove our console log. We're not gonna need that for now. And there you go. One of my next goals is to build search capability, which is going to use a couple more hooks and some other functionality. So hopefully that sounds cool to you. That way we don't just type it into the URL, but we actually have a search bar that can then go and grab the right definition. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed the content and see you in the next episode.